guys, it's Jen, and I have an interesting and amazing and wonderful and happy, delightful announcement to make. I'm pregnant! Again, for the second time. And to be honest, it came as a little bit of a surprise. We were trying to get pregnant, but at the same time, as soon as you try to get pregnant, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I start manifesting all of these symptoms that makes me so convinced that I'm pregnant. And then I get my period and it was all just in my head. So whether I'm cranky or bloated or whatever it is, and I'm like, Ben, do you think I'm pregnant? Do you think I'm pregnant? Do you think I'm pregnant? And then, inevitably, it's not. And then I feel silly. And so for the first time, when I'm like, I'm not feeling any symptoms, I'm doing stuff from the time I wake up to when I go to bed at night, and I'm just feeling totally fine, and there's no way that I'm pregnant, I even went so far as to pull out a pregnancy test and open it up, and I was like, should I take this pregnancy test? I'm not feeling any symptoms. So I put it back because I was like, I don't want to waste a pregnancy test. You know, some of them are kind of pricey. So I didn't. And I was like two days late on my period and I had some friends come over. They were all talking and chatting. We were having a baby play day. We were playing with the little kids. Then they were like saying the inevitable question that happens as soon as you have your first baby. Everyone always asks, so have you been thinking about number two? And I was like, well, actually, did you have any symptoms that were different the second time you got pregnant or third time or whatever it is and their immediate was response was well did you take a test and I was like I didn't take a test but I have a test I have it right there it's right in the bathroom I could take it right now I'll go take it right now because I was like there is no way I'm pregnant so I'm just gonna go take this test right now and then I'll know so I went into the bathroom while all my friends were over here <laughs> I peed on it and for these clear blue tests it has this little meter at the bottom and you have to wait because it's a digital result. I thought I was being so clever getting the digital test because I was like, it's gonna tell me exactly if I'm pregnant or not pregnant and that's just extra smart of me. What I didn't know is that you have to wait with the other test where it just has the double lines. As soon as the watery part goes across, I could tell right away that I was pregnant. I'm just sitting there by myself, sitting on the toilet while my friends are out there and I'm feeling like an idiot because I was like, there's just no way. And then it says, pregnant <laughs> and I really did not expect it to say that you guys are crying <laughs> congratulations <laughs> can I see <laughs> oh my gosh congrats no, I thought you're I gonna sure. be a big sister Yay. I knew Yay. it oh my god it's Ben crying I mean I was really excited but I was really really surprised last time Time. I don't know if you guys remember how I felt last time in my pregnancy, but if you do not remember, I will leave a link up there so you can literally watch my pregnancy vlog. The very first one, literally the evening I found out I was pregnant for the first time. My symptoms are very different. I didn't have any this time. Before, my chest felt really tender, like so painful, really freezing, really angry, cranky. And I was so exhausted. I was like passing out in the middle of the day. I was also sick with a cold at the same time. So it was a little bit difficult for me to figure out if I felt so exhausted just because I was sick or because I was actually pregnant. And this time around, I'm not sick. My boobs don't hurt at all. They still don't. I feel really normal. Two weeks ago that I first took this test, found out I'm pregnant. I found up pretty early. I think I was like three days late on my period. I found out at four weeks and three days and today I am six weeks three days pregnant. From then to now, there have been a few more symptoms. I just had exhaustion kick in. Probably the worst that I felt so far this pregnancy two days ago. Yesterday, I felt like I could barely even lift my arms. I would completely pass out, take a nap for an hour and a half, and when I woke up, I just felt like I had just ran a marathon. And even now, when I'm trying to film a video, I'm already finding myself run out of breath. And it's so crazy crazy because at this point it's not like anything is physically pushing on my lungs yet when my stomach is this huge obviously you're like oh my lungs don't have a lot of space so I'm running out of breath but no like I feel like I'm already <sighs> really tired 
really running out of breath, thirsty all the time. And I think compared to last time when I'm finding more, I'm having to eat a lot more frequently to combat the feelings of having low blood sugar. But I think also the experience of having gone through it before, because I'm also more cognizant of, you know, eating things that keep my blood sugar from dipping, has made me overall feel better. The more that I'm on top of eating regularly, kind of like small meals throughout the day, the less likely I am to have low blood sugar, which also comes with the like kind of nauseous feelings and sick feelings and the headaches, all of that sort of thing. Maybe morning sickness symptoms have a lot to do with your blood sugar kind of going out of whack. That's just my personal theory. It could just be because I've dealt with low blood sugar issues for like the last couple decades of my life. And so that's how I'm applying it to me and my pregnancy and this experience. What I've been doing is just trying to eat not a lot of processed sugar and a lot of more like proteins throughout my day. And I feel like that's been helping me feel much better than I did last time. Knock on wood. <laughs> I hope I don't have really severe morning sickness. Not too much nausea. I'm still able to take my prenatal vitamins and swallow those without any problems. I think in my last pregnancy, my heaviest amount of morning sickness was seven to 10 weeks. Hopefully I won't have it too bad to come, but for now I'm feeling relatively good. For my skin, I have noticed a lot of like really bad little breakouts down here by my chin area, which I had last time. I'm only expecting that to get worse like it did last time, but I'm a very acne prone person. It's like you have to take it as it comes. Other than that, I don't know. I've been feeling overall pretty good. According to my little pregnancy app that I'm using, my baby to be is the size of a ladybug right now. So it's like pretty teeny tiny. I actually still haven't gone to the doctors yet so I haven't done anything official with any blood work or ultrasounds or anything like that but I'm really excited this is just the beginning again and it all feels really hard to believe I still wake up every day and I'm like am I really pregnant do you think I'm still pregnant but then you know Ben has to assure me well if you weren't pregnant you would have gotten your period and I'm like oh yeah I still don't have my period so Something's up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel crazy I'm going through this again. There's a part of me that's like, are you insane? And I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm insane for going through this all over again, but that's okay. I'm so thrilled. I'm almost more happy. I wasn't trying to force anything to happen. I like that it was a happy surprise versus like being stressed out every single month when I'm trying to see like taking a test every month saying, oh, am I not pregnant? Am I pregnant? It just kind of happened the first time I decided not to worry too hard about it. I am going to keep doing preggy vlogs again this pregnancy I'm thinking I'll do them maybe like once a month so if you are excited for my big announcement hit that thumbs up button leave a comment down below how many children you have do you have no kids do you have one do you have two do you have seven I would love to know your experience and where you're coming from watching these pregnancy vlogs so I love you guys so much I really hope you guys are excited for this journey like I am and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>